Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design steel connections using RAM Connections Standalone. RAM Connection Standalone is used for the design and detailing of steel connections, and it can design individual shear, moment, brace, splice, and truss connection types to a variety of different steel design codes. For this particular video, we're going to be focusing on the workflow for assigning a double angle shear connection in RAM Connection Standalone to both beam column joints and beam girder joints. We will now turn our attention to the RAM Connection Standalone application, where we will assign a double angle shear connection to a beam column joint and a beam girder joint. For this exercise, let's go ahead and select joint number two, which is a beam column web joint with a shear reaction. To start the connection design process, click on the Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and then select the Assign icon. With a double angle connection option, you can select either a basic connection or a smart connection workflow. Here in the basic connection area, we're looking for the acronym DA for double angle. And here you can see that we have some bolted and welded options. In addition to that, we can also select the smart connection workflow. And again, we have some bolted and welded double angle options. For this exercise, let's select a basic connection and we're gonna go with a bolted double angle. Again, this is a shear connection. Let's go ahead and click on the assign button and we'll see that RAM Connection has assigned a double angle shear connection to this joint from the connections database. In the joint selection area, we will be able to see the status of this connection design. The interaction ratio as it stands right now is less than 1.0 and it is in green, meaning that this connection template has passed all code checks without issuing any errors or warnings. If you would like some additional information regarding the connection that was selected, you can select the edit icon followed by shear connection. Within the connection pad, we'll be able to see all of the joint information as well as the connection pieces that were assigned to this connection template. Here you can see that you can customize the connector information and the connections to both the beam and the column. In addition to that, if you would like more detailed information regarding the calculations and design checks that were performed, you can click on the results icon. And if you would like to view a DXF view of this joint, you can go ahead and select the DXF tab. Now, since our connection design has passed all code checks, we'll go ahead and close out of the connection pad. Next, let's select a beam girder joint and we'll select joint number five, which also has a shear reaction imposed upon it. To assign a connection, we'll select the design tab in the ribbon toolbar, followed by the assign icon. Now for this example, we're gonna go ahead and select a smart connection workflow and select one of the DA double angle options. For this exercise, let's go ahead and select a double angle all bolted connection template and click the assign button. Once the connection has been assigned, we can again access the connection pad. Here we can see that we can modify a variety of parameters, including the angle information, the connection to the beam and the connection to the girder. Again, we can access the calculations or the DXF view of this joint. Once we're done with the connection pad, we can go ahead and close it and save our model. At this point, this concludes the process for assigning a double angle shear connection to a beam column 
and a beam girder joint in ram connection standalone. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.